We're also continuing to follow yesterday's shocking rampage on one of our area's busiest roads. A man driving a stolen truck on 395 crashes into a concrete barrier, then just hops rides, stealing an ambulance. Police tell us he hit at least a dozen cars in his path. Tonight, News 4's Joseph Olmo has new details about the man behind the wheel who led officers on a wild pursuit. Yesterday was the most bizarre, sad thing that I have seen on I-395. Bizarre and sad. Those are just some of the words used to describe the police chase on one of the DMV's busiest roadways yesterday. Now, if you watch closely here, you're going to see this. That's door. Dave Statter, a former local TV news reporter who's been tracking traffic and blogging about it for years now. He hasn't seen anything quite like this. Most of what I do shows people doing stupid things in traffic. This is a little more than stupid. This seems to be almost a willful act of somebody barreling through and crashing into these cars in a couple different spots and then doing the same thing with the ambulance that they stole. It all started just before 4 p.m. yesterday on I-66 in Virginia. A stolen utility truck crashing into another car and then speeding off. Then, moments later, you see in this video, the truck comes ramming through traffic, smashing into cars as it drives toward the busy 14th Street Bridge. We are right now driving the exact same route that that suspect took yesterday. And after ramming through several cars just before the 14th Street Bridge, he goes through the guardrail right there, gets out of the truck that he's in, and then runs down to the GW Parkway. That's when police say they got a third report of a crash. This time, it was a different truck driving the wrong way. Now, as you can imagine, at this point, paramedics are arriving to all the crash scenes. And when one ambulance stopped on the GW Parkway, the suspect gets inside and drives off. At one point, coming nearly face to face with a state trooper who appears to have their weapon drawn zigzagging through Northern Virginia, going as far as Sherlington until getting back on 395 and heading towards DC. The line of police cars behind the ambulance growing longer and longer. And what makes this all the more difficult for everybody here is that these cars are all stopping because they yeah. think that it's a regular ambulance. Absolutely. The ambulance is supposedly there to help you, but unfortunately this guy's in there and it's doing anything but helping you. The pursuit continued into D.C. and ended when the ambulance crashed head-on with a parked car. The suspect, 30-year-old Darrell Caldwell from Maryland. Right now, police can confirm at least 21 vehicles were struck by Caldwell. That number could go up as the investigation continues. He was taken to the hospital and still awaits a long list of charges. There's a lot that goes on on the highways. Um, we all need to be more civil toward each other on the highways. Always be aware of your surroundings. Check your mirrors. Do what you can to get out of the way of somebody that's barreling down on you. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Joseph Omo, News 4.